Welcome to Lion News, where you believe what we tell you. Hi, I'm Dr. Alzheimer's. And I'm Dr. Hertz. Today, we're going to be telling you why people think the Earth is flat. Even NBA player Kyrie Irving said the Earth is flat. Look at this map. Is it a sphere? No, it's flat. What about globes? Globes are just round maps, and maps are flat. Oh, okay. Here's another example, if we don't already have you hooked. See this sphere? Imagine it is Earth. If you simply pour water on it, it just drips off. Now, some of you may say that gravity does that. But if you get a wet ball and you spin it, the water will fly off. So how does the water stay on Earth if the, wa if the Earth is spinning? Also, if the Earth is spinning so fast, why aren't you dizzy? So listen here. If you believe the Earth is flat, you can have this bag of munchies. Too late. Well, join us next time on Conspiracy Crashers. I believe you guys. Hello, I'm Cody B. Grade with the Academics. First up is the honor roll. This is the student starting with a 4.0, as you can see me right here on the top. Senior class students are Madison Nelson, Clara Savatis, juniors are Edison DeWay, Ashley Gustin, and Chesney Olson. Sophomore is Bryce Peterson. Benjamin Gustafson and Braden Peterson round out the high school for the freshmen. On to middle school. Braven Hansi is the 8th grader with a 4.0, and Megan Gustafson for the 7th graders. Next there is the Superior Honor Roll students with a 3.5. Seniors are Zachary Haller and Madeline Reitz. The juniors are Brooklyn Krieger and Jacob Punt. Sophomores are Olivia Ewald, Colin Fry, Sarah Hopps, Alyssa Keogh, Emily Lawrence, Jason Matheson, Emily Palmer, Hannah Reitz, Connor Smith, and Xander Widener. The freshmen are Olivia DeWight, Morgan Glines, Rebecca Hansen, Hannah Miller, and Jenica Nelson. For the middle school are Parker Haller, Jesse Keogh, Mallory Miller, Avery West, and Lainey Widener for the 8th grade. And 7th grader is Callie Vanderhorst. We're rooting for you, Cody. Here are real stories going on in the Langford area community. Our first topic we would like to talk about is the construction happening at the Langford area school. We are going to be interviewing the Langford Superintendent, Monty Nip on the process of the construction. The first phase was sort of the renovation phase, um, which included um, a lot of different things, like a new roof on the elementary building, um, paving the parking lot to try to improve the drainage, um, renovating some of the classrooms inside. The special ed room, for one thing, became a lot larger. It's phase two, which they've started on. The new buildings in, um, include a new auxiliary gym, a new band and choir room, and then a wellness center. They would like to get those outside exteriors up because then during the winter they want to be working on the inside. The need for the new buildings was really kind of the multi-purpose gym, the band and choir room, and the wellness center. Um, they really are kind of helping us fulfill a bunch of needs that were identified when we did that survey that we needed, um, you know, more gym because we're so scheduled so heavy in our other one. We needed a band and choir room that was on the ground floor. We needed more storage, and we needed kind of a wellness center that could be open to not only our students, but to the entire community. The new construction is a little bit behind, but the schedule was actually put in place to have a, a little bit of a, a buffer zone. They're supposed to be finished July 15th, but we really don't need those new buildings until school starts next fall, because that's when we really want um, those new buildings ready to go is that when the school year starts in the fall of 19. Thank you, Mr. Nip. November 6th was election day for America. Hopefully you got to vote. Langford's government teacher, Mr. Reince, held a mock election for his government class with three different parties. The parties were Jonathan Harmon and Zachary Huller with GPA TDL, Justice Carroll and Noah Allen with the Justice Party, and Jordan Smig and Madeline Reince, Nepocrats. The winners of the mock election were President Jordan Smig and Vice President Madeline Rines with the Napocrats. Hello, I'm Gabe Thundersmith. This is really I like chocolate. The really for Thanksgiving week will be mostly sunny with some clouds, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. I like chocolate. Thanks, Gabe Thundersmith. 
Here is the Lankford Sports. The Lankford area football team made the 9B playoffs and took on the Falkton Trojans. The Lions had been beat out of the first round of playoffs for two years in a row by the Trojans. 2018 was no different, with the score Falkton 40 and Lankford 8. Lankford ended the season with a record of four wins and five losses. The Lankford area volleyball team had beat the Clark Will Lake Cyclones in the first round of volleyball playoffs. It was a very quick night for Lankford. They won all three sets. A few nights later, the Lions took on the number one seeded Northwestern Wildcats. Both teams came out strong and put up a good fight, but ended up with the Wildcats showing why they were rated number one, winning all three matches. Langford ended the season with a record of 18 wins and six losses. Athlete showcase is for Maddie Nelson for getting her 1,000th dig this year as a senior. She hit that mark during the match against the Warner Area Monarchs. We are looking forward to boys and girls basketball starting with the game against Leola Frederick on December 7th. That's all for Langford Sports. Thanks for watching, and I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for my family and friends. I'm thankful for family and friends. I'm thankful for my mom and my dad and my siblings. I'm thankful for laughter. I'm thankful that I woke up this morning. I'm thankful for friends and family. Thanks, Thanks for watching Live News! Thank <laughs> you.